<laughs> the magic of wits. This is the perfect show for that. You have found yourself at the intersection where Razzle meets Dazzle. We call it Two Cousins Drinking. And today we're Two Cousins Drinking Stone Never Ending Haze IPA. Correct. First try. Cheers. Woo. Smell it. Ooh. That is very IPA y. Mmm. Lots of hops. Mmm. You can't have any Citrusy audience. Citrusy orange. Mmm. I get uh, apricot jam. Orange marmalade. I'm getting jammy uh, sweetness. Mm. Unfiltered. Yes. Cloudiness. That's why it's called Never Ending Haze. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Cloudy IPAs are a thing. <laughs> Shall we have some <laughs> limitless flavor, Greg? Indeed. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Like IPAs are heavier than this. This is a very light IPA. It's got all the flavor. It's got a little bit of the flavor. It's a lot of the aroma. Yeah, it's all the components are there, but it's just a lighter weight IPA. I'm JP. I'm Greg. And that's blue. What do we do? We drink it. How do we do it? We drink three times to make sure it stands up to our rigorous Standard. standards of judgment. Stone Never Ending Haze IPA is surprisingly made from uh, Stone Brewing Stones? in Escondido, California. It's the largest brewery. Bre <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't have an audience. Largest brewery in Southern California. Yes, founded in 1996. ABB 4%, we already said. Yes. Possibly. Maybe we didn't. Uh, we did say, oh, yeah. IBU's 35. For an IPA, how's that IBU? That's it low. seems very low. It's not terribly bitter. It, um, an IPA hater may actually like it. This beer is uh, part of the Pilot Series. It's a limited release. Oh. Do you know when it was originally released? No. Come December 16th, 2019. Oh, that's not so long ago. Yes. This could be an uh, original batch. Canned on 12-6-2019. I think you're right. Get that blue. 12-6. This is pre-release. Pre How did you get this? I know, people. We are quite famous in the alcohol industry. <laughs> Make some noise, studio audience! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> there, give me a little of the jive. Your final thoughts of the first beer? Mm-hmm. Um, I liked it a lot at first, but kind of... Wearing on me a little bit. <gasps> a little more grapefruit pith. Mm, yes. Not a lot though. A little I am enjoying it as much as the first sip. Yeah. On our chart, yes. what is your likelihood? How much are you currently enjoying it and how much do you want to have another? I'm enjoying it at a uh, 88 and I want to have another one at that same level. Like this, uh, an 80 and I want another. I'm excited. A 90. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Drink number one. Drink number one. Delightful. Oh, run. Greg, run. Yep. Yeah. Drink two. Dose. Never Ending Haze IPA from Stone Brewing. Mm, yes. <laughs> Correct. When you know like a good whiskey, you just want to smell it, you kind of put enough taste in it because you just want to smell it. I don't think I've ever done that for beer. I, I it makes me, if it smells good, I want to drink it. Mm -hmm. With whiskey, I can sit there and just smell. <laughs> <laughs> were you, were you like pumping that burp up out of you? You had to do a little, it's like old fashioned water pump. How does it taste? Delicious. It's a nice, crisp, refreshing IPA, but without uh, the bitterness. I disagree. It has that bitterness. But not uh, crazy. Not crazy. Mm. I wouldn't say like, oh, this is for those people that hate IPAs, then they'll be happy with this. People who like IPAs will also like this. Getting more uh, tropical fruit. Some guava. Greg, I love the colors on the can. <laughs> the yellows and the oranges and the pinks evokes... Evoke! <laughs> ...the tropical fruit flavors that come forth from the beer itself. I like it. Greg? John? Specifically for the fact that it's a 4% IPA, how are you thinking about it? You know, if that is a genre... Oh, this is top-notch. 
Look at the gasps. <gasps> That's a studio audience. <laughs> oh, you! That's a Sally Jesse moment. Now I know what it feels like to be Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> this will be a quality summer beer. Mm. Why they start Maybe. drinking in December, I don't know. <laughs> I'm standing firm at my previous 88 and 88. It's holding strong for me. Um. I don't know. I'm doing a 70, and I want another one almost just because I want some kind of a buzz. Um, <laughs> because 75. The low alcohol is working against you. Yes. But, uh, bad luck. It wasn't empty. I had drops. Drops count. <laughs> Let's not fool around, Greg. No. It's drink number three. We're not even This is a 4% ABV, and I feel like we're starting on drink number one. Correct? Sobriety. That might be a good for a uh, beer in general in your life, but for this show, that could mean death. Is this a style you normally seek out? Low alcohol IPAs? No, but I would. I, so normally they're a little too high. This would make me want to try other low alcohol IPAs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Clink. What star wars? Or Lord of the Rings character would you drink this with? Or if you could pick one from both to have a drinking... Uh, menage a beer. That's a good one. <laughs> Greg, I would drink this with Aomir, the uh, horse rider of Rohan. Are you gonna from Middle Earth. And then uh, the other chair from Star Wars, Babu Freak. Frick, Babu Frick, not Babu Freak. <laughs> That's the one with the big fro like, and the, the flared pants. <laughs> uh, how much of this could you or would you drink in one sitting? Could you and would you drink in one sitting? We could probably drink another six pack. Yep. Okay. And there's some more in there. Winner takes it all. Can we have a competition to see who. A matching of wits. <laughs> no, a matching of wits. This is the perfect show for that. You've got three. <laughs> You've got three of these. What do you want to do right now? P. It's a long glycemic index. Hmm? What kind of drug does it make you? No. <laughs> yeah, no, it does not. Could you, would you in the boat? This would be a good boating beer. Excellent boating beer. Visualize your pantheon of beers. Is this a new style to add to the pantheon? But low alcohol, yes. If that is is a, that a fourth category of IPA? If that is a category, then this is the front runner so okay. far. Let's wrap this up, Greg. We're professionals. Lou has other things to go to. Dig through your garbage and look for some <laughs> dinner. From your own This home. isn't the uh, hot, half-naked girl at the club. This is the good, uh, wholesome Mormon girl you marry. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. So. <laughs> it's a, you, you can have. You why have, is she a Borman? Because you can have three or four. It's a little alcohol. It's a good, it's a good. <laughs> Let us flee from beer number three. Thank you. Studio audience pulling their weight. Whew. Final ratings. I'm gonna stick. It's still good. Uh, what was that? 88. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. still 88. I'm gonna stick right there. Don't shy away from it. Try it. I give it a 70 and I want another one like a 40. What's up in elf? Yes, yes, this has been Two Cousins Drinking. I'm JP. I am not JP.